When someone has deen and character, as taught by the Prophet when someone comes to propose for your daughter and they have good religion and they have good character, give that daughter of yours in marriage to that person if the daughter is willing. If the daughter is not willing, you are not allowed to give. If she is willing, give her. For as long as there is deen and akhlaq in that brother, there will be barakah. That's the hadith. So if someone has deen and akhlaq, Give them a one. Give them a one. One point. They have one point. Write down one. If they are good looking, give them a zero. What does it make it? Ten. Okay. If they have a lot of wealth, give them another zero. What does that make it? A hundred. If they come from a good family, give them another zero. What does it make it? A thousand. If they have a lot of other things, give them another zero. How much would that make it? 10,000 and so on. Keep on giving them zeros for every other thing. But for deen and akhlaq, what did you give them? A one. If they don't have deen and akhlaq, remove the one. What are they remaining with? Zero. They have nothing. That is how we as Muslims should look at it. So the more the merrier. It is better if you have someone who's really good looking. Mashallah, they come from a good family. Alhamdulillah. They might be wealthy. Alhamdulillah. They have something more. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But if they don't have deen and akhlaq, you remove the one. You are left with nothing. You are wasting your time, my brother, my sister. You will be depressed in that relationship. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Remember that example. Give it to your children. Tell the others when they ask you. Tell them, look for anything and everything. But don't compromise one thing. Don't compromise one thing.